We would like to introduce you to Mary's Kitchen, a community resource serving the homeless and needy in Orange, California for the past 35 years. Hi, I'm Gloria Cease and I'm the CEO and president of Mary's Kitchen. And I've been here since 1988. And uh, the kitchen was started by a woman by the name of Mary McEnena, who uh, was walking home from mass at the Holy Family Cathedral and cutting through the park and saw a young woman sitting on a towel eating pork and beans out of a can. And then she decided that that woman was hungry and in the park, there must be more. And that's how we started. And we were there for, oh, about 10 years. And then the neighborhood decided we were attracting the wrong element to the neighborhood. So they asked the city to move us or to no longer allow us to be in the park. <clears throat> and then the mayor of Orange at that time, Mayor Byer, said, uh, basically, if you go quietly, uh, we'll give you a place in the city maintenance yard. And this is where we are today, in the city maintenance yard. And we are secure in where we're at, and we're open for our guests between 9 and 3, Monday through Saturday. And the volunteers, of course, can be here between 8 and, or 7 in the morning until we get the work done. We, we serve a breakfast, a hot meal at 9, uh, uh, 15, and then we serve another hot lunch at 12.45, and we have a sack lunch to go. Now, we take care of a lot of their items that they need, like... Um, they can get their mail here, they can take a shower here, they can get their clothes washed here. But the most important thing that we try to do is to make their day a little more uplifting and a little give them a little more peace that while they're here, they uh, are safe and they're cared for and they're loved and disciplined. And so that's what Mary's Kitchen is truly all about. There are many unmet needs at Mary's Kitchen. We need a new patio roof or a patio roof to come go over our intake area. We need professional cooking equipment. We need um, more. We need another walk-in freezer. We can uh, a walk-in refrigerator. Those are all on our our list of things that we just wish for. But most of all. We need volunteers who are willing to come and just spend some time with our guests and just spend some time seeing how we operate and what we're doing here. Here are a few of our guests who will tell about their experience at Mary's Kitchen and how it has been a positive force in their lives. I'm just here to say a few wonderful things about Mary's Kitchen. Um, we became homeless, my husband and I, around three years ago. Um, and I just want to tell you what a thankful uh, heart I have regarding Mary's Kitchen. Um, when we became homeless, we, there was literally uh, times where we had no breakfast and no lunch. And with Mary's, you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner because they send you home with a sack lunch due to any donations and all these people that donate the wonderful time. Um, I please encourage you to keep donating and um, there are still homeless people out there even though we're getting help every day. But, we do do really appreciate uh, having a family here at home at Mary's Kitchen. I'm here to explain what this place doing to me and myself. I've been here for almost uh, two years and a half, and I be grateful to this place because uh, offer me, you know, I'm homeless and uh, offer me shower, food, another thing, uh, people to work here like a Gloria, um, Howard. They start hearing me, you know, listen to me, what, what they can do for me here, you know, help me a lot. And I'm here for voluntary, you know, I'm starting early here to clean out all this area. For me, come to this place is for help others, you know, and um, I give you respect to Gloria and to other workers to, to be here. So when I need something, always they help me, they give me the hand to keep going to my, my goals, you know, and... Um, and I appreciate this place because I don't, sometimes I don't got no money for food, so I can eat here. I can get uh, free clothes, you know, and, um, and I'd be grateful for this place. And 
I try to give it back to this place back, something. I've been coming to Mary's Kitchen for approximately four years now. Um, this place is a godsend for a lot of people. You're able to shower here every day. Um, breakfast, lunch, and a sack lunch to go. Uh, a lot of people don't understand how much they do for the community to keep people hopefully off of the street and to move them into shelters. And I think in the long run, it, they don't get the uh, credit they deserve here. And it'd be really nice if some other people could come down and look at it and understand how good they are doing this for the community. And it would be a great thing if uh, we could get some kind of donation or anything that your company might be able to do for us to help these people move on to a better life and myself personally. So uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to me and I appreciate it. These people are just a sample of our 150 guests, all of whom have similar stories of how Mary's Kitchen has improved their everyday lives. Thank you for allowing us to introduce Mary's Kitchen to you. Mary's Kitchen needs considerable financial help to continue its life-saving mission. Donations can reach us through our website. Please consider Mary's Kitchen when you select your donations for this year.